till I can't no more. I got the horses in the back, horse stock is attached. Head is mad at black, got the boost is black to match. So Ronco Customs is getting a crazy makeover now you guys might see this and you're like what the babe just happened to your shop squad what'd you do with it and we complete i completely demolished this shop uh in the track right now we start on the track and the track is just getting destroyed because what we're gonna do is we're putting in a whole new shop and this is like the this is this is the cadillac of shops guys this is cadillac of buildings i guess this is gonna be a crazy humongous building i'm trying to think this is gonna it's gonna be big let me I don't know if I should show you guys yet. I won't show you guys yet. We're about to put this in. Now there's a couple, there's a lot of steps I have to follow to get this perfectly down. And it's been tough, but they sent me Chop Shop Mods, the guys who made this, and Chandler have been communicating with me, trying to get me the best shop ever. And they sent me all the steps to do it. Now I've been leveling this out uh, with the landscape tool. I think I got it to where it is. I've kind of placed it down a couple of times to try to get it perfect. But the last couple of steps we have to do before we actually purchase this shop is to get these stumps out of here. Now, these are the stumps for the off-road build, which we are just completely wrecking right now because the off-road build used to be through here. But the shop came up and I was like, I need to get this thing in. I need to get this in badly because it's cool. So our off-road building track is just right now. Half of it is just completely demolished. I apologize. But this is how big the shop's actually going to be. Like, this is going to be insanely big. You might be like, Squat, dude, you haven't sold any cars yet, dude. What, do you really need this? Well, eventually, sales will be popping. Trust me, guys. One day, Rolco Customs will take off. Oh, <laughs> that dude just that was kind of weird how that fell off. But I'm only grinding the stumps that are kind of in the way. The other ones, we'll just leave here. Start grinding those babies. There we go. This is going to take a little while with the Bobcat, the S590. I know how farmers work. I've been watching, following how farmers work. If you guys follow them, and he's looking for a bobcat. He's been looking at a lot of bobcat killers I've seen. I don't know exactly what one he's going to go with, but it seems like, from my point of view, I think, I think Ryan is probably going to go with a bobcat. He's just been searching a ton through different bobcats. Maybe that's because they're, as far as price to value, they're they're priced really well. Who knows? But kind of interesting seeing what he's up to, and what he's going to purchase for a skid loader. The S590, I'm, as far as skid loader brands, guys, I'm probably, I, I don't know, I really love the, just looks, as far as looks of the cat skid loaders, but you might pay a ton for those, uh, and you know, maybe you could get a different brand cheaper, who knows, okay, grind these babies up, we got this one, and then we got one more, most likely, and we should be good, this stump grinder works perfect, though. I can't wait to get this shop in here. It is going to be insane. And then this whole video is just going to be about the shop tour, getting the stuff back in the shop. There is, there's a couple different levels to the shop and you, you can put your semis. I've seen a couple YouTube videos and you can put your semis on a couple different levels. Like you can raise them up. They have their own lift and then you can put some underneath them. You can basically stack semis. Okay, um, shoot. I don't know if we can get the skid loader over there. Let me see if I can maneuver closer. Like I said, guys, skid loaders in FS19, they're just, they're not there. They're not, they don't perform that well. Just the balancing of them, something, something about them. But Preston, who made this, did an amazing job on it. It's just, the skid loaders in FS19, they're just really tough to mod. And the in-game ones are still, like, this is better than the in-game one, I think. Like, that's... I don't know. They're just, uh, they're not there yet. There we are. Those all are all grinded up. Let me get these little, little chunks. Toss them out of there. There you go, buddy. Oh, oh, shoot. Imagine this. It, so it's called a chop shop. It's called chop shop. But like the title of it, when I go to purchase it, is chop shop squad edition, which they made me my own squad edition. It's got the Rollinco Customs logo all over it. Looks perfect. Looks fantastic. From what I've seen, I haven't, I guess I haven't seen much of it because obviously i haven't placed it down but i've seen some photos of it it looks sick and <laughs> we will have enough shop space this will be looking so cool oh man I, i'm pumped for this oh my gosh look at this shop i went through and i got it all synced up everything should work with it now you had to get all the lifts synced up dude i am ready to give you guys a tour i don't have any of like the equipment in. i had to pull all the equipment out um, but I got I kind of worked on this a little bit. We have this it was a lot worse But I kind of smoothed this out. This was literally where the jump was This was the jump for our off-road track right here 
<laughs> we had to dig out a lot of stuff because this billion is just humong humongous. It's probably the biggest billion in farm sim so far that I've seen, I guess. Also, I should probably kind of, I was thinking uh, I should probably smooth out these edges a little bit. It would make it look a lot nicer. But as far as the inside, well, first of all, we'll start with the parking spots. Now, I put this a little lower to the ground than normally you should. And so technically underneath the cement, there's actually parking, parking or yellow parking lines right here. It's just they're not showing. But this is where the employee or customer parking spots or customer parking spots are. Sorry, I hit the Windows button on my keyboard. Okay, so here's the inside. Well, first of all, I'll, I'll show you guys this. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's not even go through this door. Let's open one of these big doors, these big glass doors. It's got the Roll Call Customs logo up there. It's lit. It's literally lit. No pun intended there. But uh, at night, it'll light up. It's, uh, oh my gosh, looks perfect. And then we got this. I think this is Chop Shop Mods. I think this is their, um, their, their logo for their modding group watch i'll link their facebook group down below big shout out to chandler and these guys chop shop mods for getting this done for me this is just oh dude oh my gosh and one thing about this is if you guys are on pc this is only this is like taxing on your graphics card this is insane it's it's pushing my graphics card to the limit right now uh this is insane they even have a warning that's only you, you got to have a crazy good graphics card to use this. But uh, here we go. We got lifts. Now, I can add, if I want, I can add another lift. You can, you hit this do not hit button or do not, do not push button to add another lift. It literally says do not push in the instructions. They were saying to go, go around and push all these buttons. I was like, is this a joke or what in the instructions? But no, that's what you're supposed to do. Anyways, uh, we're, I could add another lift right here. I was like, you know what? Let's only keep these two lifts. So these two lifts, they will, let's go over here, lower lift. So lower lift, lift goes down, of course. And then you can spread the lift. If you have bigger equipment on there, you can spread the lift. So I'll go over here, other side, right? No, this is lower lift too. This is spread lift. So spread lift. Oh, dude, this is farm sim, man. And I got my own custom dealership and the shops are just getting insane. I love this game. Okay, do not push button. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to push this. I'm pretty sure this will make this disappear. I'm not going to press this button. I think it'll make it disappear. Um, I'm not even going to mess with that button. Do not push. Did I not? Okay, yep. Makes it disappear. I don't know if those are synced up now. I might have unsynced those on accident. I did press that button earlier. Um, okay, let's go up top quick. Before we move into the next room, let's go up top. Do these lockers do anything? Yes. No, they don't. There's Yeah, that'd be crazy if they did. Holy steps. Oh my gosh. These are almost on wide steps, dude. Oh, we got people chilling up here. Nice. One dude looking at the Coke machine. Other dude with his cane. So this is the customer area. Okay. And then is that Chop Shop Mods? It is something gaming. I can't tell what that is. It starts with an H. I can't see. I can't see that. It's got like a controller as a logo. I can't see what it is. Unfortunately, this guy's working on his keyboard. So this is a customer just chilling area lounge, I guess, where they can come up and get some coffee. Um, CSM, so Chop Shop Mod Ultimate Workshop Squad Edition, baby. <laughs> this is sweet. Oh, uh, they got a semi there. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay. Uh, what else do we got here? So we got just paintings or pictures, I guess. CSM Project but Bigfoot. Was that a map? Or maybe that was the truck they made. Wow, I'd love to get my hands on that truck. Oh, and they have tracks on an F450. Holy crap. I've seen this. I haven't got this mod, but I've seen this on some Facebook pages. Wow. They got tires over here. And they got a... Oh, um, I'm trying to think of this dude's name. How do I not know it? John Wayne. John Wayne. John Wayne, which is from... He's from Winterset, Iowa. So he's literally from the state I'm in. Wow. That's like, a, that's like an hour from me. That's insane. They got John Wayne photo up here. Nice. And then they also added Let the Coal Roll. Now, I'm not sure if they added that just because it's Rolling Coal Customs or if they've always had that there. It's one thing. That looks sweet, though. That, that emblem looks fantastic. Let's... Okay. The craziest room is probably the back room. First of all, we got Rolling Coal Customs. Dude, I can't believe I just, I just made that in Photoshop one day. Just spent an hour or two on it. Now it's all over our buildings. This is just fantastic. It looks cool like that, too. I like that. Um... There's, oh my gosh, dude. Look at the photo of all their trucks and then their buildings. Oh, dude. 
That's sweet. Okay, so you can I can make these lifts disappear by hitting the do not push button. But for now, I'm not. Oh, yeah, you can just take them in and out. But here, let me. I think I'm okay to do this. I'm going to do this. Um, That's weird. Wait. That one appears. There we go. We'll turn this one off. There we go. So these are both gone. <clears throat> now, what can go here is you can stack equipment or semis or whatever you want. So we have this top layer. Now you're wondering, oh, how do you get to the top layer? Well, Chop Shop Mods is so good that they made, I got to be careful on this, a little elevator. So you put your trucks on there and it goes all the way up to the top. And then you drive your trucks on that back tab or slab of concrete. And then you lower the lift down. <laughs> and then I guess what you can do, if you really want more space, what you can do, then you can fill this in with your semi trucks or whatever you want to put in there. And then you can also fill this in with trucks or whatever you want here. Lift this up. And then you got more space in here. So you can, so your trucks will raise up and then you got more space down here. This is insane. Like I don't think I'll run out of room. I, I don't think there's any possible way to run out of room. So then I'll lower that. I'm not sure what that other switch does. Let me go check out this other switch. Turn. Oh, that's just shop lights. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's just more shop. Where did those come from? Anybody see? I think they just... I can't tell where those extra lights came from. I think they're just coming out of the walls, kind of. Oh, wait. Oh, so I'm... Oh, okay. What I always did is I'd always... Okay, so let me raise this lift up. I'm sure this lets me get down. Yeah, because I was like, how do I get down? So this is going to let me lower the lift. Nice. <laughs> oh, dude, this is insane. This is crazy. Okay, we're going to go back in here. Now, I bet this thing looks sick at night. At the end of this video, to end this video, I'm going to go, and this is how you customize stuff. Yes, nice. We have a customized repair shop right here. Uh, I'm going to start putting stuff in here. Now, maybe I should take out one more of these lifts. I'll, I'll see. I could easily just take out one of these lifts just for more storage. For now, I'll fill this area, put some stuff on the lifts. We'll see. We'll see how much we can put on the lifts. So Rolling Cool Custom Semi, where does this go? <laughs> I want to just put this up front somewhere, but it should go in the semi area in the back because the area in the back is kind of me meant more for semis. So the first thing, we're going to pull the Rolling Cool Custom Semi out. Now I got equipment all over the place. The, the rest of this video is just going to be putting the equipment back, organizing it nicely. Now that we got the shop in, the shop took me like an hour just to get all kind of pre-vamped before we even place down the shop. Oh, we got Rolling Cool Customs logo on the side, and then it also says Chop Shop Mods. Nice. We got trash cans. Okay. <laughs> Oh, dude, this is, you know what? We could probably fit all my trailers and stuff. If I want to get them indoors, I could probably get all this indoors. Wow, this is insane. Okay, we'll go right there. And we got crazy long, or we got crazy big doors. They're not that wide, but height wise. Crazy, we got some birds in the shop too. <laughs> okay, where do I want these? Should I put this on the top level here? I mean, why not? It'll be cool to do it. If I can fit this in, I, it may be too long. It may be, yeah, it may be too long to get in there. We'll see. So I'm going to back this maybe in here. Oh man. It, lengthwise, it may be too long. I want to get it up on the, the top. Yeah, there's, yeah, we're not going to be able to fit that up there. I could put the trailer up there. Don't get me wrong. I could put the trailer and the trucks up there. But I couldn't fit. This is just too long, I think. I wonder if it would fit on this lift. I bet I bet it may be able to fit on one of these lifts. For now, I'm just going to put this in the way back. We're not going to use this elevated. Actually, I could put a couple trucks up there. Uh, why not? Before we get this big semi in there blocking everything, let's put a, tr a couple trucks back there. Some trucks that I don't think I'm going to use for a while. So, like, we could... We could take, uh, we could even take these, uh, I kind of want to keep these landscaping setups back here. What about some trailers? Just put the trailers back there. 
I mean, some of these can stay outside. It's fine. But the campers. Can we get the campers back there? I want to see if we can get a camper back there. So I'm going to... Uh, should we take the Duramax? Okay, so we're going to put a couple campers back there. This is the best, like, most efficient storage I've seen yet in Farm Sim. I'm going to put this down. There we go. So we have... I know we have a ton of... Oh, wait. Let's let's keep that slide out in. But we have a ton of extra campers. I'm going to grab the camper. We're going to stack it back there. I think we'll be fine. Hopefully, we're good on length. I think I think we will. I think we'll we'll make it. Holy crap, that was a tight turn. I'm going to back this bad boy all the way in there. And then I'll unhook the truck and I'll drive the truck. I don't know how this is going to work, to be honest. We'll see. This is going to be fun trying, though. Oh, will this even fit? I think it should fit. Oh, dude, I, this might go through the roof. Oh my gosh, maybe a camper is not the... Ah, I don't even think we're going to be able to get a camper back there. Camper is just... You can't... I don't think I'll be able to get a camper out there. I just need smaller trailers and smaller equipment. So something we don't use that often is the Mack dump truck. It's cool to have it out, but I'd love... Oh, lag. I'd love to put this inside on that lift. I'd love to just put something up there for now. So I'm gonna try getting this up here. I don't know with this, with this uh, pup trailer, it might be a little tougher to get up there. We have all this room, and I don't think I even need this much space right now. But eventually, once we expand, we'll need we'll need all this space. Oh, that was close. We almost hit the wrong cool customs trailer. Okay, ah, dude, this is gonna be tough to get up there. We'll see. Maybe maybe I'll put the pup trailer down low. And then I'll put this, I'll put this up top. That'll work good. I just want to put one vehicle up there, even if it's, uh, if it'll look weird. Wow, you could maybe fit a semi back here. I didn't realize how much room's back there. You could probably fit a semi back there. I'm going to detach that. We're going to pull onto this, this slab, the elevator slab that will lift my dump truck up there. So now we're going to ride her up. <laughs> nice. Okay, now my dump truck is gonna go back here. Oh, dude, this is sweet. Okay, I don't need to put it all the way back there because we definitely have enough space. I'm gonna shut that off, and we're gonna take the elevator back down. Oh my gosh! I wonder if this is that's when you think about it, that dump truck is like thirty thousand pounds. That's a lot of weight, even right there. Okay, we could definitely fit a ton more up here. Semis. Oh, it's getting kind of dark out too, which is kind of cool because this stuff's starting to light up a lot more. All these trailers could go up there. Actually, I, th I think they could. I think they could. I don't know if we'd be able to get the Elver because the Elver is a little small. 9R could go up there. If I want, I could probably put the 9R up there. You guys want to put a tractor up there? It'll be kind of cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see if this 9R will go up there. I just... <laughs> this is this is heavy. This is heavy putting a 9R up there. We'll do her. Now before I do this, I probably want to be taking off the duels. And it's nice because we've got the shop configuration right here. I'm gonna pull in here. We'll take off the duels. I better be saving the game too, because this is just we have so many mods on here, it's it could it could crash my game. There we go. Save the game. And when you put tons of mods on, guys, and they're user created, you're just gonna have a ton more. It's going to be a, a lot more laggier than something with no mods, no matter how good your PC is. Okay, so I'm going to go uh, just 480s singles, if I can do that. Maybe I can't. We'll just go 480s duels then. There we go. Purchase it. It didn't cost us anything because we already had those. thing is, is will I be able to fit it through the door? I think I'll, I think I'll be good. This is going to be a little tight though. Right, right there. There we go. We made it. And now this should go. Yeah, we'll be we'll be good. <laughs> as long as we can lift it, though. Okay, take the elevator up. Elevator is probably not the best term for this. <laughs> there we go. We got the nine R up there. Dude, imagine this having uh, having this on your farm. For all your equipment. A lot of farmers are complaining about shed space getting equipment all in the sheds. This I know this would cost like crazy amount of money to do this. That'd be cool. 
Stacking tractors. Okay, we could definitely fit more in there. For now, we don't. There's not much we need to. I want to fit like all these trucks in the front of here, just so I can open this up and be like, check this out, baby. I want. So I'm gonna start moving some trucks in here. I don't know to put them on the lift or what. We could. Yeah, why not just put them on the lift? So we'll lower that down. Start getting the six by six. We could fit. We don't even have that many trucks, to be honest. We could fit a ton more trucks in here. One thing that could go up in storage is the 4440. And all of its uh, attachments. That'd be good to put this up in storage. Or maybe what we'll do is we'll just put it in the back. We've got enough things up there. As you can see, I put the 6x6 up there. That just looks sweet. Just having it up high. And then you see the Royal Customs logo in the background. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to fill that all in. Go oh, check this load out, guys. F450, Razor on top. The ADAC on the back. Somehow the Razor is staying. It's staying here, too. I have no idea how it's staying on here. But I'm probably going to put this one just for now. Just to get this shed like looking nice and filled. I'm just taking the stuff from outdoors and just tossing her inside. I'm going to open this up. Back this baby in. That just looks fantastic. At 450 with that. Some reason you can see. Oh, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> I was an idiot there. Oh, wait, did I? How did that work? Why is that door? What happened there? Oh, I think the door, I'm pretty sure the door hit the edge of the razor. Darn it. That was looking sweet. Let's see if I can put it back. Darn it. That was totally my fault, too. I was just playing on stupid there. Okay. Oh, it's going to be tough to put it back. Perfect. One way to, I would love to get this right here. I'd love to get it back. Perfect. I could put it on the, uh, on the ADAC, too. It fits so nicely on the ADAC. I want to get it right back up here, though. Oh, <laughs> okay, there we go. I had to put it back on the back of the ADAC, which it works. It fits so much better than the back of the F450. We're just going to back this baby in here. I'll show you guys what I've done so far with the shop and what equipment I put back there. We still got a little bit yet to do. I'll show you guys what I've, what I've got done so far. Oh, F450 can barely get over the curb. There she is. Perfect. If I wanted, I could put a lift right here. I, I could. You could hit that button and add a lift right here. I was just two lifts is good enough. Uh, for right now, uh, we have okay. So we have the Duramax here. We have the Chevy Duramax up there with the ugly wheels. I still need to change those wheels out. Uh, we got the Blazer here. We got the Cummins here with the forty, uh, the big text trailer. I don't know if it's a forty foot big text trailer. It's a twenty. It's a twenty five foot. It might say on there. I'm not sure the length on that actually. Uh, and then we have a if if I had to guess, guessing twenty five or thirty foot is what I'm guessing. Uh, and then we got the Ford, the High Boy, which I took from the classic car shop. We got the classic car shop over here. In case you guys are new, this is my classic car showroom. And then we got a camper showroom um, over here, which, dude, all these sheds have been just customized. Uh, people have just been helping me out, customizing them. Artist Jack did a lot of work on these sh on that shed over there to customize it. Uh, and then here, I'll show you guys in the back. Looks perfect in the back. We got, This is basically, I don't know, party in the front, business in the back type of thing. I know it goes the other way around, but we got the equipment in the back, like the 4440 uh, telehandler. And we got the 9R up there. We got the dump truck up there. And then all the equipment's going to go here in the back. Maybe some semis right here. And then all of our nice cars are going to go up in the front. And then we have to obviously leave spots open for uh, like customers that want to come in. And then this shop, the local custom shop, this is a whole nother shop. Also, I don't have any trucks in here. We just have so many shops right now. I'm definitely keeping this one though. I need to put more trucks in here. It's got photos. It's got your actual where you can customize trucks. It's got your lift right here. It's got photos all down here. We have the we have a Duramax in there yet too. The legendary Duramax was holding the 9R. But guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it was just about the shop and the shop building, but it was a crazy addition to RCC. So if you guys did enjoy the video, hit that like button. If you kind of enjoyed these videos, maybe consider subscribing. Thanks guys.